The Central Valley's heat can be unforgiving, especially for kids who are left in cars unintentionally. Action News reporter Santaya Rose is live in the newsroom with more on a Valley father who accidentally left his baby girl in a car for over an hour alone. Santaya? Well, Liz, medical professionals say it happens more often than you may think, and usually it's when parents change their routine. It happened to a Fresno pastor. His daughter survived, but many do not. Little Abby is talkative, playful, and energetic, like many toddlers her age. But when she was just eight months old, her father made a mistake that is often fatal. He accidentally left her in the family's minivan parked in the sun. It was 100 degrees at that moment uh, when we got her out. It was uh, between 4 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon in late August. He realized after his wife called him to check on Abby. Will Stahl was sure there was no way his baby girl could still be alive. I, I can't even describe as a father what that's like. It, uh, just think life's over for everybody. His wife Katie rushed to the home where Will parked his car before leaving with a friend to pick up an RV. The family was getting ready for a camping trip when he forgot Abby was sleeping in the back seat. The windows were rolled up. Abby was beat red, likely close to having a heat stroke. The truth is all of us are broken and frail people. We make mistakes. Um, in this case, for some reason, God chose to do a miracle. Last weekend, a 15-month-old who was left in the car died in southwest Fresno. Police say the child's mother had returned home from the grocery store and forgot the baby boy inside. Friday Children's Hospital demonstrated just how hot a car can get during the summer. It was 60 degrees hotter than the temperature outside. Heat stroke uh, also happens with children uh, because their body temperature actually rises three to four times uh, faster than it does in an adult. Every day, Abby's presence reminds him of what happened that scorching summer day. It was the worst day of our lives and then the best day. And since this scare, Will has changed some of his routines, like moving the car seat behind the front passenger instead of the driver. He also recommends putting something next to the child you won't forget, like your phone, briefcase, or purse. In the newsroom, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.